Hey guys, I'm going to put this on our festivals in Japan playlist, although it's not really a festival, it's more of a ceremony, a Shinto ceremony in relation to autumn, or fall as some people call it. So it starts with people walking through the street, playing the flutes and banging the drums and up and down the local streets collecting people and then heading back to the shrine for the more formal ceremonies. So guys, what's happening over here is that building, big building on the left, actually has people in it that are doing the ceremonies. And the little building at the back is like a kamiza. It's, it's where the, the spirit place is, the Shinto spirit place. So the idea is that these things, these offerings are being sort of blessed down in the main building and then passed person to person up into this shrine at the top. That's a classic Shinto shrine style set up layout so usually people don't go in that top shrine just there's a priest in there at the moment doing the ceremony thing and usually it's just where these offerings are put and usually people don't go up there at all they can just sort of see up there from down the bottom So this is that lower building, the bigger building, and this is the one the people are in. Those guys on the left there are the priests, Shinto priests. The people on the right the guys there in the blue huppy are local dignitaries, so local council members and so on. And the girls at the front here are the shrine maidens. So these girls just sort of help in the... They do a bit of dancing and they also help uh, in the ceremonies carrying things around and helping out around the place. And again, these guys that are in the Hakama are just local guys. Local dignitaries. And there's the three priests here at the front. And you can see that top shrine up there, up the stairs. Usually that's the view of it that we have from inside this room, just looking up the stairs at the little shrine at the back. And they'll put rice and oranges and things like that up there as offerings. Well, this is interesting. A lot of these 
old shrines, because they're made of wood, over the years get replaced and rebuilt. So some of them are only, you know, 100 years old or 200 years old. But often in the grounds you find these really old stones that are sometimes monuments to people or monuments to families. But often those stones that you find in the shrine gardens are really, really old. So these guys, at the end of these ceremonies, usually what they do is they, we've showed you on a video before that the, the guys get up on a, a thing and throw the rice mochi and people catch the mochi. But it was a rainy day, so they weren't doing that. They were just handing it out. So these are all the local people lining up. Interesting, lots of people come 10 minutes before the end of the ceremony so they can get the mochi. <laughs> Don't come for the rest of it, just come for the last 10 minutes. A lot of kids turn up in the last 10 minutes to collect the mochi. So they get hand handed bags of mochi there. So Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Those of you who haven't seen the, shrine, the uh, festivals in Japan playlist, have a look. There's some interesting videos on there. And if you want to see shrines, we've got the the castles, old buildings, shrines and temples playlist. There's another playlist that's got lots of shrines on it, so you can have a look at that too. Hope you found that interesting. More videos coming soon.